What is up everyone? Hope you enjoyed this new angle today. I'm trying out my wide lens on my Nikon and uh, I thought, you know what, why not give you guys more an atmospheric view, some ambience view of my little home studio here. Uh, and yes, my hair is uh, looking weird because I can't see a hairdresser, obviously. So much about that. Let's talk about what I have here. This is my new guitar. It's a Chapman ML1 Pro Modern in the limited, oh yes, limited lunar finish. And it's very, very, very nice. Yeah, where should I start? Um, I was looking for baritones over the last weeks, if not even months. I obviously started with six string guitar, switched to seven, to eight, and I really liked the, the, low, the low stuff, you know? When I started to get influenced by Rebbe and Massad over the last two or three years, I started to rediscover the six string for me and I felt like I haven't really fully experienced the six string and it's, oh, you, will, you will probably never, but I felt I really needed some more digging into the six string world and uh, yeah, however, what I was missing was that low stuff. It kind of switched in my mind and was like a baritone. Why haven't I thought sooner about a baritone? I was searching for PRS uh, 277s, used Ibanez RGI B6s, and then I came across the, the Chapmans, and I found this one on Toman for 960 euros as a B stock. They are around 1050 new. Uh, so let's talk, it's about a 1K guitar here. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk more in detail about it now. Why this one? Uh, first of all, it's a 20 inch scale. 20 freaking inch. Uh, 20 inches are definitely no joke. I don't know how I could say 20 instead of 28 three freaking times. Really sorry about that. Uh, this feels a lot different than a normal guitar. If I switch back to my Shravel, it feels like a toy guitar, really, or a three-quarters guitar, child's guitar. It's absolutely ridiculous. The look, the general look, I really, really dig the matte satin finish. Everything is matte black. Um, I was worried that the Chapman Bridge would be quirky and weird and cheap feeling, but it is um, coated in, I think it's powder coated in this matte black finish, and it just feels as premium as a hipshot does. Um, speaking about hipshot, it actually has hipshot locking tuners, which is very, very nice. Also in matte black, matte black knobs. Also the case, the uh, lockers on the case are black. It's the most metal case I have ever seen in my life. And the fact that this guitar comes with such a high quality case for 1K is also a big plus. The next big plus are the stainless steel frets. Uh, which feel so silky smooth for bends and overall for playing. However, I must get to a negative point right away. I think they are not properly leveled because I'm getting quite some fret buzz, although the guitar, uh, although the action, sorry, is set pretty high. That's fine. Yeah, as you can hear, there are definitely some high spots on there. But I figured, as it was a B-stock and 100 euros cheaper, uh, I thought maybe I could sort that out by myself. There are some blemishes as well there, uh, not too bad, and they are not, you know, in your way or something. Uh, by the way, take a look at this maple neck through construction. It has mahogany wings, by the way, and a genuine maple uh, top, which is very thick in the middle because it's a carved top, actually. It's not a full thickness flame maple top. Um, it's actually a veneer, flame maple veneer onto a normal veneer top, uh, which you can see if you look very, very, very closely. Um, but I mean, that's, it's no big deal because the guitar is still just 1K uh, and not, I don't know, 2,000, 2,500 euros where you could expect a completely full um, flame maple top. Let's talk a bit about the feeling. Taking this out of the case is 
really an experience, I must say. The first time I unboxed it, it was like just so silky smooth. Everything feels so nice. The neck heel is so super, super comfortable. It feels so nice to grab. Everything looks pretty much very, very high end and premium. The pickups look nice. They are Chapman branded pickups. We're going to talk about those in a minute. Uh, Luminlay side dots on the ebony board and just the Infinity logo here. Love it. The only thing I don't understand is why is the headstock not matching and it has this rosewood veneer on it. That's the only thing I think it's a bit weird. Um, Master Volume Master Tone. Uh, something I'm not that happy with is the switch. It could be a bit more clicky and a bit more precise because sometimes you don't really know in which position you are, which is a bit... Uh. You know, for 1000 euros you could have a nicer switch than that. Yeah, so far so good. Let's talk about those pickups. These are the Chapman Sonoris... Sonoris? Sonoris pickups. And uh, usually most people are not a big fan of in-house or branded pickups from the brand itself. However, I must say, on this guitar, I would not change the pickups. They sound absolutely fantastic. Uh, both on uh, high gain and for clean as well. I mean, for for rhythm tones, this thing just slays the shit out of my amp. Uh, by the way, I'm using the PRS as always, uh, and this time today I'm boosting it with the Klichton Lichtbringer and the 805 Overdrive to really get the most ballsy tone I've ever achieved in combination with this guitar. It's just like. <laughs> It's absolutely nuts. Um, yes, there we would be at the next point um, that is so important for me why, or the reason why I got this guitar, and that is the scale length. 28 inches give you a completely different tone just due to physics. If you have a longer scale length, you are able to put on thinner strings, thinner strings with basically the tension that you want, even if you are low, uh, I'm currently in drop F sharp using an Ernie Ball slinky baritone set. Uh, so the lowest string is a 72 gauge, which is fairly thin. Uh, speaking about F sharp, F, F range. Because you have such thin strings, you can have a much better tone. And the thing that the baritones have that I absolutely wanted to have is that really low gnarl uh, in the low end which you can hear acoustically even. And that is just something that you can't get with a regular scale six string. It start, the, the tone starts to show up with 26 and a half, 27 inch, but at 28 inch, it is really, really apparent and just amazing. So this guitar, tonally, can do anything that you want. Um, if you are a fan of stuff like, I don't know, uh, Whitechapel, it can do that. I personally um, was going for those Thornhill-like um, tones as well. The next very positive point of the baritone is the clarity of chords. I mean, ju just listen to that. This is a six note chord over the entire guitar that sounds good in drop C, drop B. Starts to, you know, on a normal guitar, in drop A, uh, yeah, maybe. This is freaking drop F sharp. 
Also the power chords, they are so intonated. And this is just the absolute biggest plus uh, of the baritone. And that's why I love this thing so much. I can't put it down. And I haven't played my other guitars uh, for two weeks now because this is just so good. Split coil tones, also absolute craziness. A bit less gain when you have those animals as leaders things. Uh, really, really amazing. So let me just quickly switch to clean. Okay, we're on the clean channel of the uh, PRS with some reverb of the Fathom. And this is how it sounds like on the bridge split. Middle. Next split. So this low ballsiness uh, is something that you also especially get with the clean tones, like this. It sounds like a bass almost, and it's just so, so satisfying to my ears at least. So yeah, very, very, very inspiring tone. Again, I wouldn't change those pickups. These are perfect for that guitar. So yeah, this is my new guitar, which I will be using for upcoming music. Uh, haven't written the song yet. Uh, still needs to, you know, distill all the goodies out of this and uh, maybe make a new song in the next couple of weeks. So far, I am really, really happy. Um, the fret leveling uh, is a bit of an issue, but I'm still keeping this guitar because just acoustically and sonically, yeah, uh, just sounds so nice. Um, and I think the, the fret leveling is something that you can address uh, at any point, yourself or by Luthier. But the guitar itself, how it feels, how it plays, and how I feel connected to it is worth keeping. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed today's different formats of video and uh, I would like to thank my patrons as always to support me and my channel No, because they are supporting me and my channel. Yes, if you are interested in uh, some guitar tabs of my original songs by No Ossages, feel free to head over to patreon and uh, sign up for a little per video uh, subscription if you like to. Like and share the video, that will really help a lot. Hope you are all safe and healthy out there. Uh, hope you can at least take a walk or something like that. Um, if not, then yeah, stay home and try to be productive. That really helps. Uh, let me know how you enjoyed this video format and uh, I will see you next time. Take care.